Muslims have traveled all the way from Medina to go make Hajj. Did they get to make Hajj at Hudaybiyah? No. So what's in the hearts? Baby, you can call me a Superman. Chuchu tell ta ta gani ta kupama. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, so don't forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if you don't want to miss anything, turn on the post notification button. And yeah, you won't miss anything. And if there's anything that you specifically want us to react to, leave us a link in the description rather comment section below and we'll do it for you we've got a second youtube channel called funny and jesse 2.0 you guys can hand there enjoy the weekly vlogs that we post and if you've got suggestions or anything that you want to see let us know and we'll do it for you we also have a podcast called diving in with funny and jesse we have some amazing conversations fun conversations you guys can hand there and listen uh, you can find the audio on our second YouTube channel, but for the audio you can find on this channel, Spotify and iTunes. And actually Podbean, I've been forgetting to mention Podbean in my last few videos, I don't know why, but you can find the audio there, listen to them, whether you're washing, whether you're cooking, whether you're going to work, whether you're just seated, whether you're relaxing, maybe you're going to bed, listen to it and just enjoy the conversation. And you're free to comment, you can let us what you think about those things or our topics. Uh, we also have a Patreon called Funny and, Jess, Funny and Jesse and you guys can feel free to become members and we'll be very very grateful. A big shout out to you guys that have subscribed to our channel. We wouldn't be where we are without you guys. So thank you very much. Thank you for um, subscribing and thank you to those that are still yet to subscribe. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for commenting. You guys are the best. May you stay blessed and hope you guys having a good day night whatever the case is so whenever i post this i just hope you're okay and as you can tell from the title i'll be reacting to emotions in quran linguistic miracles of quran and a big shout out to the person that suggested this so without wasting time let's get into the video allah speaks about tranquility often the arabic word for tranquility is a sakina a sakina allah azawajal says anzala sakinata fi qulubil mu'minin he is the one who sent tranquility into the hearts of the believers. He sent it into the hearts of the believers. But then several times in Surah Al-Fatih and Surah Al-Tawbah also, فَأَنزَلَ سَكِينَتَهُ عَلَىٰ رَسُولِهِ وَعَلَىٰ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ فَعَلِمَ مَا فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ فَأَنزَلَ السَّكِينَةَ عَلَيْهِمْ عَلَيْهِمْ He sent tranquility upon them. In one place, he says in the same surah, he tra sent tranquility inside their hearts. In another, he says he sent tranquility upon them. Now, tranquility inside your hearts, tranquility upon you, it's the same idea essentially, but not close enough. This, is, this would be undermining the precision of the Qur'an. You see, the hearts, basically in the Qur'an, Allah speaks of two negative sentiments. There are many, but two central negative sentiments in the hearts. لا خوف عليهم ولا هم there's fear in the heart and there's grief in the heart of the negative emotions that you have these are the two main negative anger can result from grief and, and go get worse right and fear leads to many other diseases like hypocrisy can be can be a source uh, or the source of it can be fear so now these two feelings the anger is described as something that rages inside your heart and it's something that doesn't go away it stays it's in your heart. It didn't just overcome you at that time, it got installed. So you have to uninstall. Which means you have to go where? Inside the heart. The beginning of Surah Al-Fatih. The Muslims have traveled all the way from Medina to go make Hajj. Did they get to make Hajj at Hudaybiyah? No. So what's in the hearts? Anger, frustration. We came all this way. So where was the tranquility needed? Inside the hearts. Inside the hearts. But fear, fear is something felt on the skin. Fear is something felt in your entire body, it shivers. Fear is something that overwhelms, it comes over your heart. But when it's over your heart, as soon as the scary situation is over, what happens? You're back to normal. Your kids are playing around, there's almost, all, all of a sudden there's thunder. Kids get scared. Thunder's over, you're back to playing again, right? 
But with anger, you don't have to be, you don't, somebody doesn't have to upset you for you to be angry again. It's the old anger that can come back for no other reason. You understand? So now since the anger or the fear overcomes you, what has to overcome you to counter it? Tranquility. So Allah, in, this, in the situations wherever Sakina is mentioned with Allah, tranquility sent down upon. Like when the Messenger ﷺ was in the cave with Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu anhu, and the, the investigators were looking for them, trying to find them and kill them. This was a situation of anger or fear. This was a situation of fear. So Allah sent tranquility upon them. Alayhim. So there's tranquility inside and there's tranquility upon. If you just read it casually, you'll say, hey, it's the same thing. But if you appreciate the profound accuracy of words, down to the preposition from in to upon, that's just prepositions. Even that is incredibly accurate. Many times I'm very ignorant. I like everything about this video. Many times I'm ignorant as to what certain things may mean. We want them to mean the same thing. But then when you think about it, like he broke it down for us here, it's two things that are involved here. So we should be cautious or concerned with the way we um, understand things. Otherwise, this was very straightforward and very entertaining to listen to. Very, very interesting. Let me know what you guys think. And this has, has been suggested, I think, twice or three times now. So thank you for suggesting this. If there's anything that you want us to react to that's like this, that's longer, let us know in the comment section below and we'll do it. Let us know what you think about these linguistics miracles and we'll be glad to hear from you guys. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next reaction video.